Hello, this is Living Room Requests, and we have a treat. This is an Avril Coleridge mm. Taylor song, and it is for Shanoa. <laughs> That is Patricia Hammond. Oh, and that is Matt Redmond. This is a zither banjo, an instrument popular at the time this song was written. Stay tuned to find out a lot more about it. Oh, yes. And Patricia, yes, later. we'll speak. That was for Shanoa, and also she has classes on black classical composers and musicians and a podcast. Gonna put a lot of Shanoa related links in the description. She's amazing. Shanoa, fantastic. And she's very much, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, now Kathleen Mary Eastman Simango wrote the words to that, or Kathleen Eastman, as she's called in this. Um, in this piece of music, which was published in 1921. And it was, as I say, Avril Coleridge Taylor had yet to change her identity and start a new life after her divorce. Um, this was her when she was a teenager and she called herself, and she was, she was, that was her name that she was given when she was born was Gwendolyn. Um, so she wrote this when she was a teenager and Kathleen Eastman was a friend of her father's. And it's very interesting. She was bo uh, born in um, what is known as Ghana now. And she was educated in Notting Hill and Bedford. And set her, a lot of her poems were set by, um, by Samuel Coleridge Taylor, Kathleen Eastman. Uh -huh. And so this is, this is just little Gwendolyn sort of following in her father's footsteps, whom she idolized. Uh, and she, the, Kathleen Eastman's very interesting in that... Um, <clears throat> she was the first um, person from West Africa to go to the Royal College of Arts. She was an artist and she died tragically young of appendicitis only three years after this was published. Um, <clears throat> gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. It's too hot. Um, anyway, so and yeah. also the light keeps changing, so I have to change the camera. Uh, it's nothing to do with <laughs> me having to clear my throat. Um, so anyway, this is this is a sweet little song. It's just a little sweet little song. And I talk about Avril Coleridge Taylor 
in my book there's a chapter all uh, these episodes of Living just... Room Requests it's actually been linked below but occasionally it comes up so here it is I did want to show it because it shines it, it links shines. below she wrote the songs for Trisha Hammond and also they... when you're in the description you will find the link to make your own request which is going to go to patriciahammond.com forward slash request and you can ask for any song well, and no. you can dedicate it to other people <laughs> More right. people should record um, these these composers, and it's wonderful that people you know that that Shinoa is encouraging and and mm. um, and promoting and 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 really sort of helping out to to discover these composers. Um, but I don't think anybody will probably have thought of using a zither banjo no, they for might. it. So they might. no, it's it's written for for piano. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of an interesting instrument. If you to use. like music of this kind then check out our, our videos um, on this channel. The one we uploaded relatively recently, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Was that the other version There's... of Little Missy Cake? No, yes. it was the other version of... Um... Um, it was, yeah, no, Little, yeah. little Missy Cakewalk. Yeah. yeah, that's that's right. Actually... It's not by Coleridge Taylor, though. No, no, it's not by Avril Coleridge Taylor. It is by Amanda Aldridge. Yeah. And they both came from South London and they both... Um, were Yeah, no, it's very interesting. They were They were women of colour in Britain. So yeah, um, thank you so much for coming. If you want to see this dress, you can go to Patricia Hammond songs on Instagram. Ooh. Thank you so much indeed. It's been fun. It's Press been a fun. like, thumbs up if you got this far. Bye bye.